Stevenson picks up a 2-0 victory over Penn State Abingdon. Glenn Clark with head coach Toddy Korba. Coach, I know um, coaches are always critical. I understand how you are, but let's, let's talk about the good. Um, for a team that had been through a lot, how, how good, how much of a relief is it to get one in the win column? For sure. You know, I, I, I really don't feel like um, our record is indicative of, you know, where we are. And, and clearly, um, you know, we're having a hard time scoring. So, um, you know, to get the win is important. To get two goals is important. Um, you know, I think uh, two nice goals and, and I think we took 24 shots and, um, you know, so it's a it's a jumping off point and um, much needed and, and much deserved for this group. Question. Uh, the first ever match here at the new pitch. Um, I don't know if there's an emotion that comes with that. This is going to be home. What what goes through all that? What does it mean to you to be over here? Yeah, you know, we talked about it before the game that, you know, it's all new traditions and, and we're the first women's soccer team to ever play here. And, you know, Kylie Don Bullion now has yep. the first ever goal, you know, for, for women's soccer here. So, you know, a lot of neat things. I told them before the game, when you come back, you know, 40 years from now, you know, they, they'll probably be playing on this same field. So, um, you know, I think just, you know, we're, we're so thankful that Stevenson has done this and it's a, a beautiful place to play. And, um, you know, maybe it's our lucky field now. <laughs> Nothing but wins. Now the rest <laughs> of the way. Um, Coach, you bring up Kylie. And, again, she'll get to be the trivia answer for forever about the first goal. But for a player that, you know, maybe isn't one of the, 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 the players that gets the most minutes, someone to take advantage of that opportunity, what does it say about her that she was there ready to make that run and be there to put it home? You, you know, it's, it's kind of typical Kylie. You know, she's um, – you know, she, she works so hard and, and she's such a team player and such a great member of our team and, you know, culture wise and relationship wise. And um, she's been playing well, really, the last um, two games. And, you know, we felt like she went in the first half and, you know, worked hard and um, made a difference. And, you know, I hope that this kind of builds her confidence and, um, you know, keeps her going in the right direction. All right. Now, how do you sustain this? Now, now you've done it. How do you keep doing it as you head into conference play? You know, so opening up, you know, Eastern, um, you know, I think that's going to be a, a good game on, on Saturday. And um, finally, you know, some momentum. And, again, we're here. Um, so, you know, everything kind of resets with conference, whether we were, you know, 9-0 and heading into conference or 0-9. Um, it kind of – it matters, but it kind of doesn't matter. So I think that, you know, we told them, you know, new field and, and heading into conference. And, you know, I don't know if, if we could, you know, have much more kind of symbolism of, of moving forward and, and trying to keep this going. So finally some momentum and, and senior day on Saturday for us to honor, you know, two great seniors. And, um, you know, hopefully we're able to take care of it uh, against Eastern. All right, Coach, congratulations on getting, the, getting a win. And we will see you back out here on Saturday. Thank you. She's Tati Korba. I'm Glenn Clark. GoMustangSports.com.